Wow, did you guys see that? If not, I'll post some pictures right now. I don't know what it looked like in this camera because it's just a kit lens on this M50. But I used my 600 for some cool moon shots set in between the three sisters. And uh, the, then the bald eagles just were just swarming around. So I think I got a couple shots that I could use, I'm hoping. Anyway, guys, I'm heading home. Uh, big plans today. Can't wait to do them. I will see you right now. All right, so I'm trying something that probably won't work since it's super bright out, but if you see the moon over there, let me zoom in for you. I'm just sitting in my nice warm truck here. So the moon's way back there, and you can see my camera on the tripod, um, and you can see it's clearly daytime now. I'm trying a super long exposure uh, with, and I'm testing out my ND filter that's built into the lens adapter. So, I mean, yeah, basically this isn't gonna work, but I, I just wanna see what it can do. Um, never really watched a moon set in daytime because it doesn't really seem appealing, but it would be interesting to see if uh, it gets bigger or anything. I don't think it's gonna be much. I think it's better at, at the dusk when it's just, in, when the moon rises or sets in golden hour, that's the best time. Um, or at nighttime when it comes off the horizon and it's super red. That's pretty cool too. But that's hard to get a picture of because it's so dark. Um, yeah, so let's see how this turns out. I'm at the Ram site. Dude, I love this Ram site. I, I used to never come here because I didn't live close, but um, I, I'm close now and this is pretty cool. This is rather cool. All right, let's test out this uh, new microphone in this heavy wind. It's it's always windy here for some reason. Uh, really pretty though, you can see. I just tested it. It was like a 10 minute picture and it was a little too bright. So I'm only gonna do like two minutes. It's probably the most I could do today, but just trying new things. Yeah, that just wasn't working at all. It's just, it gets a little too hazy on the horizon at this time. Um, it looks cool, like just staring at it, but other than that, it's nothing crazy. The other pictures were way better. So, uh, I'm going to go home and edit those, and then after that, uh, I'll share my plans with you today. Alright, so we are, um, I gotta go to Walmart real quick, but Shane and I are going to be going to Passag Shack, and uh, we haven't been there in a while, and actually we have... Me and Angelica have, but uh, we're gonna be going out in a couple minutes, so we're hopefully getting golden hour, blue hour, and some night photos tonight. Maybe some portraits on top of that, but yeah, I gotta go to Walmart real quick. Man, it feels like the wind has died down quite a bit. I don't have my ND filter, so you're gonna have to deal with this. Dude, it is bright out here today. Holy smokes, man. But look, no wind, right? All right, let's get some photos here. Well, we had enough of this spot, and uh, so now we're gonna head to or towards Surfers Beach area. So, here's a video of that.
got some pretty cool footage of uh, Shane. I wasn't expecting this, but that drone went from there to uh, here. And what's funny was it wasn't even let me land because it said that was like negative 200 feet because of the elevation change. But uh, yeah, look at this night. It's gorgeous. I love these mountains back here with the nice snow. It's pretty cool. Shane. Did you see that drone footage? No, I have not seen the drone footage. But, <laughs> but did you see the drone? Yeah, I heard, I saw it and I heard the drone fly above my head. Yeah. I got caught in a dude foam spew. Oh, I, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was back pedaling as fast as I could. <laughs> I saw that. All right, I'm gonna get some photos here. Hold on, don't, 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 hold on. I gotta use these foot fr footprints. Our fingers are frozen right now. Huh? Oh, the moon? I don't think the moon rises until like nine. Oh man. All right, we're gonna go warm up our hands, figure out what kind of more shots we could do. The reason why we're out is because Angelica's having a ladies night. So I was like, oh Shane, let's have a guy's night and some, do some photographs. So far, my fingers are cold. All right, Shane says that he cannot get any photos in this type of light, and I say I disagree. So, we are gonna see if I can get some nice blue hour shots of Shane. Well, I just had to send in um, this Canon, or I had to submit a repair request for this camera because uh, it just randomly has been freezing, and t today it did it like four times in like 10 minutes, so uh, let me hit stop recording before it does it again. Hopefully it lets me finish recording this video. I've been having so many problems with this uh, camera and I, uh, I signed up to get it repaired so I will get that sent in and then when it gets sent I'll probably just use my 6D Mark II. Uh, we had a pretty good night, right Shane? Oh, absolutely. I had fun, uh, but once the moon came it kind of just washed out the sky and I'm like, oh, thank moon ruins everything. So, uh, we are just, uh, Heading home now, we're almost home. We're uh, just ending the vlog. Uh, had a good time. Uh, the drone footage, I really enjoyed a lot. So uh, I learned a couple things about my camera and it's uh, so weird. Like I remember trying it out before, it didn't work that good, but I wonder if I had a firmware update. Cause I know I updated it once, but never tried it. So maybe it's better now. Anyway, that will be it for today. And I will see you in the next one.